In this brief demonstration, we're going to discover how easy it is to make screen captures from directly in RoboHelp. Sometimes while you're authoring and you're making changes to your content, uh, as I'm doing right here in my topic, I'm ready to uh, insert a screen capture. And I don't have a screen capture. I haven't made one yet. Perhaps I didn't anticipate all of them. Well, fortunately, there's an icon right up here in my object toolbar that says Insert Screen Capture Image. Now, if you don't happen to see these choices or icons in your workspace, you can go to View, Toolbars, and objects will toggle it on on and off. Here you see I made it go away and now I'm going to make it come back. And this is the one you want. It looks like a little screen with a sort of a red triangle in it. So I'm going to, um, the, before I do my screen capture, I need to make sure that I have selected the program that I'm going to make a screen capture of. Then I can have RoboHelp sitting right on top of that. Now I invoke Robo Screen Capture by clicking on this. And this is a very important step. What do you call it? You want to make sure the screen capture has a purpose driven name. So I'm going to call this Windows Media Playlist. A little hint is to avoid typos. You can actually have this typed out ahead of time. The second thing is you want to choose which kind of format you're going to do. I happen to want a JPEG. And I'm going to say OK. Now as soon as I do this, this actually brings Robo Screen Capture, turns it on, brings it up on the screen so you can make some choices. So you can choose what kind of capture you're going to do. Um, I actually want to choose a region rather than an entire desktop or a window. So I'm going to say region. And as soon as I do this, I've got uh, my hairline cursor here where I can go ahead and choose the portion that I want. So I may want to choose up here from stream, maybe over to here. And uh, this may cover as much as I need for the step I'm going to do. Now at this point I could simply save the file if I wanted to, but I'd like to actually use a few of the um, annotation features found in RoboScreen Capture. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and um, highlight three uh, choices that I want to put into a playlist. Second thing that I may want to do is to put um, some sort of a rounded box over this indicating that these need to be checked. And then I may also um, want to put the rounded box over something else, perhaps these stars. And then finally I'm just going to do something really simple and just have an arrow pointing over here. This is perhaps uh, implying that you choose the stars first and then you make your choices. Now you simply click up here on the diskette disc icon to save it, and then you actually close re Rozo, <laughs> you actually close Robo Screen Capture. When you do this, um, this throws you back into RoboHelp, and this actually brings up some final choices that you can make. They're pretty important ones. You can actually have the text wrap around the left or the right. In this case, I'm on a line by itself, and I want no wrapping. You also can have a screen tip. So I want to call this Windows Media Player. Windows Media player, excuse me, Windows Media Player uh, Playlist Options. And then you probably want to have some similar text in the second field, which is Alt Text, capital A-L-T. Alt Text will display if somebody has a browser that's incapable of showing the graphic. And it also is visible to uh, Google and other search engines. So it's quite important. So you don't want it, for instance, I don't want to just call this ABBA because it's a picture of an ABBA album. People searching for ABBA would find it. I want people to find it who are looking for Windows Media Player playlist options. Okay, finally, finally um, I can do other things too, uh, just real swiftly. I'm going to decide that I want a box around it. I want the box to look perhaps like a ridge. Um, I can go ahead and choose some sort of color. I'll choose uh, maroon just so it looks a little different. Say OK. And then with my final choices here, I'll simply say OK one last time. And that's actually brought in the screen capture just the way I want it with a nice border and everything else. Now you recall that I put in that uh, sort of what I call screen tip text. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and we'll conclude our demonstration by doing a preview of this. I could go ahead and generate it and see the whole project, but instead I want to simply do a view selected item with the glasses. This actually brings up a good facsimile of what it would look like in HTML. And notice that if I move my cursor over the image, you're going to see a screen tip and it actually says Windows Media Player Playlist Options. It doesn't appear very long, but there it is. That same text is, would also appear in the alt text if I were looking at this with a browser that was incapable of showing the image. It's just that simple. When you're finished, you simply turn it off. So it's just that simple with one 
icon, you can go ahead and initiate a screen capture, and you can do this over and over again. This is particularly helpful if you're creating if you are creating documentation and you realize that you need an image right in the middle of your writing process. This concludes our brief demonstration.